Hi, welcome to the Resources Roadhouse and I'm Wally Graham and I'm at the 2019 Brisbane Resources Roundup and I'm speaking with Scott Williamson, Managing Director of Blackstone Minerals. Now Scott, um, welcome again. Uh, we uh, seem to be catching up quite regularly of late. Um, I think uh, my wife is a bit suspicious that every time I go on a conference you know, I end up speaking with you, but anyway, that's another story. <laughs> so last time we spoke, we spoke about the Takwa Nickel Project in Vietnam, mm. and just uh, this morning you've uh, put out another announcement there of further assays on the PGE um, side of the project that um, Blackstone's mm. looking at. Um, the new results, what have they sort of told you? Yeah, thanks, Wally. Yeah, it's, um, it's always good to be at the conference, and and, and obviously we, we get around a bit because there's just um, some great news flow, and we just need to get out there and talk about it. Um, being um, a difficult market, we just got to keep beating the drum. But so today's announcement uh, was the next six holes uh, for our maiden drilling at Tarqua, and and it's just continuing to deliver and better than our expectations, particularly with the platinum and palladium numbers. So getting sort of up to one gram per tonne in platinum plus palladium and gold, which is a significant credit um, and potentially could cover a lot of the costs if, we, if we're looking at, say, an open pit scenario. Right. So, yeah, but, but most importantly, we're hitting good nickel numbers, sort of up to 1% nickel over sort of 30 metres, which is a lot of people don't realise, but 1% nickel is plus three grams per tonne on a gold equivalent basis. Um, so, yeah, so potentially... Yeah, those sorts of numbers from an open pit scenario, we're talking about something that could be uh, globally significant. Right, and obviously uh, nickel's having a, a, a little bit of a run at the moment. It's having a little bit of fun in the sun, so to speak. Um, but we'll stick with the PGE element of mm. the um, of the project at the moment. So that um, the platinum palladium sort of credits. What sort of a market are, are, are they for? Who, who mm. who's sort of looking at that at that sort of commodity? Yeah, so it's a, it's an interesting one. A lot of the um, I suppose palladium goes into the catalytic converters, which in a way is a bit of a hedge on the whole EV. Um, right. Thematic, so we've got sort of both both uh, types of vehicle covered there. So the catalytic converter obviously goes into the diesel um, vehicles. So palladium price has been driven by that, and so the palladium price is actually higher than gold at the moment through that demand and and lack of supply coming out of um, the bigger mines for platinum and palladium are South Africa and uh, Russia. So Russia being the Norilsk mine, which is one of the world's yeah. biggest nickel mines, is also the, one of the largest palladium mines. Norilsk actually has the exact same geology and um, age dating as we have in Tarqua. So it's not surprising that we're also getting these palladium platinum credits. So yeah, it's, it's driven by the, um, the catalytic converter, which is a bit of a hedge on the EV. Right. And uh, again, just a, like another little uh, bit of fortune your way, I suppose, it is that um, previous owners have, well, neglected to sort of look for these, uh, uh, the PGE element. You know, they haven't sort of gone there. Mm. So uh, the, it's sort of like a, a little bit of a good fortune for Blackstone that, that, that they haven't and that mm. now your new uh, way of looking at it with fresh eyes, uh, you're seeing it. Definitely. Yeah, so they looked at the massive sulphide veins which is a different type of mineralisation and they, they assayed for some platinum and palladium in that particular ore body and it was fairly low in that ore body but we're, we're looking at a disseminated ore body which is slightly different and that hasn't been assayed. So yeah, they ha they particularly hadn't really looked at disseminated sulphide at all right. as a target. Yeah. And and then because of that, they hadn't really considered the potential for these platinum palladium credits in the disseminated zone. So yeah, a lot of good fortune for us. I wasn't really expecting a significant credit. Uh, I was hoping for one, but it's uh, it's a lot higher than I thought. All right. And on the back of uh, uh, sort of when you initially uh, identified the these PGEs, um. You've since um, been able to uh, raise a bit of money? Yeah, so th th we've raised $4.5 million, um, the other day. That allows us to drill out that Banfoot disseminated ore body. So we're, we've got two rigs at the moment. We're going to throw another two rigs at it. So the news flow is going to double going forward. So every couple of weeks we'll have a, another six or so holes and we'll just continually drill yes. that ore body out and then we'll move it towards a resource and, and then scoping studies. So... Yeah, a lot of good news flow coming out of that four and a half million dollars, and um, and uh, yeah, exciting times over the next six months. All right, well, good. Well, obviously, we'll be keeping an eye on it at the Resources Roadhouse, um, and uh, well, we'll look forward to the next time, Scott, that you come and visit us here at the Resources Roadhouse. Thanks very much. Thanks, Wally. Cheers.